Euro 6 emissions standards, what do they mean for you? All new cars sold must meet Euro 6 standards for exhaust emissions of NOx and other pollutants. Vehicle emissions are a key talking point when it comes to environmental pollution. In the past, car makers used to produce cars that delivered greater and greater performance without any regard to the pollutants coming out of the exhaust. However, with the onset of atmospheric studies showing a rise in the number of pollutants in the air, governments and legislative bodies across the world have clamped down on vehicle emissions. While vehicles are just one of many contributors to overall pollution, manufacturers are easy to regulate against as emissions reductions can be factored into regional vehicle production standards. Over the years, vehicle emissions have dropped as a result of ever stricter legislation, although in recent years it has become clear that some car makers have struggled to meet legal requirements, as evidenced by the VW Group's emissions cheating scandal. But what is actually required to meet the latest emissions legislation? And who sets the standards for car manufacturers to meet? We've rounded up the latest standards and testing procedures in this guide, as well as explaining what new legislation is scheduled to come into place to improve the robustness of emissions testing. Currently all cars old in the UK are tested before going on sale under the new European Driving Cycle NEDC, procedure. This test measures emissions under laboratory conditions on a rolling road. The tests are witnessed by government agencies, and the procedure is conducted in a controlled environment. The ambient temperature, vehicle fluid levels and tire pressures are all measured to maintain consistency between tests. This ensures the test is as accurate as possible, so all cars are tested in the same condition and means that the emissions figures recorded for them can be compared directly to each other. In addition, the cars that are tested are randomly selected from the production lines by the legislative body, rather than being supplied by the manufacturers, who could supply a tweaked model that is designed to perform better in the test environment. However, as Volkswagen proved, car makers can still circumvent these regulations without doctoring a test model. So to make emissions tests more reflective of real-world driving, a new testing procedure is currently under development to be introduced in 2017. Under the new proposal there are plans to include an additional real-world driving emissions ride, test to detect regulated pollutant emissions. The ride is to be carried out on the road instead of the lab, and will use a portable emissions measurement system to record emissions. The ride element is expected to introduce a more realistic and stringent approach to emissions testing in the future, although of course atmospheric conditions will affect the results of this test. What is Euro 6? Euro 6 is the sixth incarnation of the European Union directive to reduce harmful pollutants from vehicle exhausts. The Euro 6 standard was introduced in September 2015, and all mass-produced cars sold from this date need to meet these emissions requirements. The aim of Euro 6 is to reduce levels of harmful car and van exhaust emissions, both in petrol and diesel cars. This includes nitrogen oxide, NOx, carbon monoxide, CO, hydrocarbons, THC and NMHC, and particulate matter, PM, which is basically soot from diesel cars. The knock-on effect of reducing these pollutants can also mean improved fuel economy and lower CO2 emissions. NOx is a harmful pollutant that is often blamed for damaging the environment, but has also been proven to have serious health implications. Particulate matter, meanwhile, is a local pollutant that has also been linked to health problems. The latest Euro 6 regulations set different emissions standards for petrol and diesel cars, but that is a reflection on the different kind of pollutants the two fuels produce. For diesels, the permitted level of NOx emitted has been dramatically dropped down to a maximum of 80 mg km, compared to the 180 mg km level that was required for cars that met the previous Euro 5 emissions standard. In contrast, the NOx limit for petrol cars remained unchanged from Euro 5, as it was already low at 60 mg km. Diesel cars and the Euro 6 emissions standards. 
Older diesel cars that produce higher levels of NOx and particulate matter are starting to come under fire from a number of environmental groups. Some have blamed the UK government for enticing consumers into diesel cars, which are considered to be more environmentally harmful, with road tax and company car tax structures that benefit low CO2 emissions. Diesel cars tend to be better than petrol models when it comes to CO2 output. The automotive industry and the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, SMMT, that represents it have recently come out in defense of diesel cars and started a campaign to raise awareness of the clean diesel technology fitted to Euro 6 compliant models. The SMMT is attempting to ensure all diesel cars aren't tarred with the same brush, and is drawing a line between older diesels and the new generation of clean diesel models. The concern is that confusion could lead buyers to snub the newer Euro 6 diesels when they deliver similar pollution reduction as the petrol alternatives. In the short term, the new Euro 6 emission standards are unlikely to have a direct impact on motorists, although they could see fuel economy and emissions of new cars improve further as the latest engine and exhaust treatment technology become standard across the industry. Euro 6, are diesels being demonized? The longer term future for diesel cars looks a little more uncertain for the reasons touched on above. Moves are afoot within government, at a local and national level, to penalize owners of diesel cars financially. Diesel cars found themselves in the spotlight with former London Mayor Boris Johnson calling for an ultra-low emission zone, ULES, in London be put in place by 2020. And ULES is already in place for large commercial vehicles, but this could be expanded to cover older diesel cars and vans that don't meet Euro 6. They would then be charged an extra £10 to enter the capital on top of standard London congestion charge. At the moment, current London Mayor Sadiq Khan has opened a consultation on which way forward the London Assembly should progress. Some councils have already started to charge owners of diesel cars more for parking permits. Islington Council in London has introduced a surcharge of £96 for anyone with a diesel car. It claims that the reasoning behind this is to protect residents from the health risks associated with diesel emissions. Euro 1 to Euro 6, European Emissions Legislation Timeline European emission standards first came into force in 1992, with Euro 1 standards becoming law. This initial standard ensured that diesel cars emitted no more than 780 mg/km of nitrogen oxide, while the maximum for petrol engines was 490 mg/km. This moved on to Euro 2 in 1997 that dropped diesel NOx to 730 mg/km and Euro 3 standards followed in 2000 lowering the diesel NOx limit to 500 mg/km. By 2006, Euro 4 emissions were in place reducing the maximum NOx Indiana diesels to 250 mg slash km and Euro 5 reduced it further to 180 mg slash km in 2009. Throughout this time, the maximum amount of NOx emitted by diesel cars has been well behind that of petrol models. Under the new Euro 6 standards, however, the maximum level for NOx in diesel models is 80 mg slash km, compared to 60 mg slash km in petrol cars. Euro Emission Standards for Diesel Cars Euro Standard Date CO NOx PM Euro 1 July 1992 2.72 0.14 Euro 2 January 1996 1.0 0.08 Euro 3 January 2000 0.64 0.50 0.05 Euro 4 January 2005 0.50 0.25 0.025 Euro 5A September 2009 0 0.50 0 0.180 0 0.005 Euro 6 September 2014 0 
0.005 Euro emission standards for petrol cars Euro standard Date CO Knox PM Euro 1 July 1992 2.72 Euro 2 January 1996 2.2 .2. Euro 3 January 2000 2.3 0 0.15 Euro 4 January 2005 1.0 0, 0 0.08 Euro 5 September 2009 1.0 0 0.060 0 0.005 Euro 6 September 2014 1.0 0.060 0.005 